path. If you're in the path of that. Of okay. this seat. This this is the seat of the atomizing chamber, this tab right here. So when you put the atomizing chamber, the back of it sits down right on this tab and this tab right here. So if you put the atomizing chamber down and it pinches those wires, um, what it'll do is it'll arc out here and not out here where you need the spark. Okay. The other thing it'll do is it'll cock this atomizing chamber at an angle, so now it's going to leak fuel from this port, or leak air from this port. So you want to make sure that when you put this transformer back in and you have, it, have, the, have everything plugged in, um, that you bend these tabs away, or bend the wires away, from the actual seat. That's why I have them bent, bent that way. Alright? Bent away from the atomizing chamber because that little thing could cause leakage inside of this lower fan house and then it might leak out the nearest exit which could mm -hmm. be this screw hole right here that's what happened to us mm -hmm. all right so again the transformer is grounded i think that's what uh, austin was looking at it's got it's actually grounded to the chassis or to the lower fan house of the airtronic burner so that when you touch it, it doesn't shock you. Okay? So it's grounded to itself. Um, to take the transformer off, you back up the two screws that are holding it. And then the transformer comes right out. Okay? <clears throat> I need some more space here. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so now that I have the atomizing chamber out, the only thing left inside of here is the photocell, right? Now you can see how the photocell uh, sees light and sees the flame through this center hole here. This center hole here. Okay. <clears throat> so the photocell is actually behind, sitting behind the atomizing chamber at an angle, kind of like this. Um, and when light bounces off of the flame tube and the air tube hits this little card it it tells the burner uh you know to light when it sees darkness and then to stay lit after it sees the flame so it has to see the flame in order to stay lit it has to it has to see darkness in order to light all right if not it'll go on lockout mode with the primary control box um to replace the photocell, you simply slide it right off of the photocell base. Okay, this is the photocell base here. There is something very important on this photocell that you have to make sure you have is this spacer. If you don't have that spacer, what will happen is um, the photocell will go past the position that it's supposed to be behind the atomizing chamber. Um, so let me unplug this. You basically unplug it. It's got a little lock tab, you push down on it, unplug the photocell. Um, but what will happen is if that spacer is not there, it won't stop at the right spot to be able to see darkness or the flame. It will actually go past it, okay, and now it's seeing the back of the atomizing chamber. So it will see darkness and it will light, but it won't see the flame and stay lit, alright. So there's a wrong way and a right way to install that. One of the ways is to make sure that spacer is in there. Um, if it's in there loose, I would take some uh, super glue and just glue it on there because you won't never need to take it off. Okay. Uh, the other thing that you have to make sure of is that when you're installing this back in, that that little card, see this little card right here? The little card with the swiggly line there. See that? It's facing forward to so see, the, see the light. Um, you want that facing towards the flame. If you install it, like this guess what it's gonna see the back of the lower fan house which it'll see darkness but it won't see the flame right um, so the other thing is that somebody takes it takes it upon themselves and takes this thing apart like this okay and does not put it in the right way now that little card is facing this wall. So now it's going to see darkness, but it won't see the flame. You see that little card there? See how it's facing this back wall? Mm -hmm. 
So that's the wrong way to install, this thing should be installed. The right way is this way. Where the, and if you got to turn this little card a little bit just to get it in the slot right. See that little squiggly line with the card on it? See that? That's the, the indicator there, the proof of flame indicator. All right. So to put it back in, you just simply turn it the right way, press it on the table, snaps back in place. All right. So that could cause the burner not to light if this isn't working correctly or installed the right way. Uh, hold on. Yes.